Take a stroll down Tokyo's downtown drag, and you'll get the distinct impression that neon is passé. Today, electronic signs are all the buzz. Futuristic miracles of light, color, and animation that make the world their matinee screen. Digital electronic sign boards are sometimes used as giant television screens or to post written messages. They come in different sizes, from a few feet all the way up to many thousands of square feet. The creation of a sign starts with plans drawn by engineers and architects. Hundreds of plans are created by computer, among other methods, and require between two days or even a month of work. Millions of tiny lights or light-emitting diodes called elements make up the screen surface. These elements are made of germanium, gallium nitrate, and silicon semiconductors covered with plastic. These elements have to be placed so as to form a matrix. Each of the 20 machines at this plant can install and solder 1,500 elements an hour. Lighting up an element requires only 10 to 20 milliamps, and they last for about 150,000 hours. All the wires are placed behind the matrix and the different electrical connections. This conceals everything behind the sign and shelters it from the weather. Depending upon the distance from which the sign will be seen, spaces between the elements vary from one-tenth of an inch to several inches. A workman now makes the electrical connections. The wires have to be solidly connected to resist shaking caused by movement of the signboard. The matrices must operate together and require controllers which send information from one to the other. Thus, each group controls its own image. Each matrix has to be electrically powered and integrated to its own 5-volt element illuminating connector. Sometimes the matrices are made up in two pieces, one supporting the elements and the other having the components. In this case, it simply requires two cards to establish the contact. Now they connect the information cable that lights up and extinguishes the elements. Each matrix has two connectors, one that supplies the electric current and the other that carries the sign's information. Here they verify the functioning of each matrix. Then they can begin to join matrices together to construct the signboard. We see here all the colors assembled as they will be on the screen. The boards are sometimes installed outside and are thus vulnerable to the weather. That's why they put on this rubber strip, which waterproofs it. The matrices are now assembled together. Then, 10 matrices are joined to make up a module. At this stage, they insert the signboard conductor. Then the wires are connected. These wires transmit electric current and all the information relating to the sign. The elements require a very low voltage current, about 5 volts. Each module is then provided with its own converter to maintain a steady voltage. Then all the modules are assembled in the signboard support and the many electrical connections linking the different modules are made. This gigantic signboard is a composition of 35 modules and 12 matrices. The signboard is almost finished. They now check the color, the luminosity, and the resolution of the screen. This signboard is made of 120,000 electrical light diodes and took nearly three months of work. Each year, this company constructs hundreds of digital signboards requiring about 100 million lighting elements.